Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros, kids. If you're watching live on the YouTubes, perhaps you've flipped over from Blippi, your kids program, over to this uh, lovely hellhole we have here. You'll notice a new flag. And the gentleman who made that flag yes, sir, yes, is sir. on the air today. D'Anthony, what's his name? I don't know. What's his government name? His government name is Noah, but I don't know. Uh, you can, would you want the, the name of the company? Yeah. You want to talk about the, the name the, of his actual company? All co- of it. No does one cares really, about all of his shit. Does no one that cares really about him. I, we, yes, we care. No. Noah, how my, religious are your my parents? My first name is irrelevant. I think the company name matters more. Okay. Yeah. It, well, it depends. How religious are your parents? They named you Noah. Eh. Are yeah. they? Yeah. They were yeah. just big Christmas fans of and Easter kind of. Noah Gallagher. C&E crowd? Maybe. C&E how, Catholics? Is that what you were? Yes. Yeah. How, how old are you? 30. 30. Yeah. Could, is it possible he was named after Noah Gallagher? He probably wasn't old enough. Oasis. No. Yeah. Are you, your parents Oasis fans? I don't know. How about sure. no, uh, Noah Cyrus fans? Doubt it. Is that, ah. is that Billy Ray Cyrus's evil twin? <laughs> no, it's, it's... Like he's got a reverse mullet and a goatee? <laughs> you're, you're very close. It's actually Miley's sister who looks like an evil twin. Ooh. Yeah. She, yeah. Wait, what would an crazy. evil twin of Miley Cyrus look like? A fucking nun? Like, in, no, like an emo. Spawn. Yeah. So like an Spawn emo insane. version of Hannah Montana. You know what I'm talking about, Giorgio. I could see you getting down on, on Noah. She's got some puffy cheeks, too. Kind of a squirrel face. What's Very her, sad. What's her Oof. name? I can get down on Noah. You'll see it. So could I. Cyrus. Noah, Noah Cyrus, yeah. yeah. It, look, it'll play. There's a bunch of Noahs If you're now. in that world. I think oh, we've no. all been in the emo world, though. No, she's got a moon face, bro. It's weird. <laughs> but for the nights, who cares, dude? I don't know. If, let me see if moon face is, is offensive, because I'm not sure if it is. <laughs> yeah, be, be offensive to the moon. Oh, and, it's, a med- it's a medical condition. Often, yeah. associated, oh, well, she often associated with Cushing syndrome. Cushing, yeah, Cushing syndrome. But syndrome. I don't know if she yeah. has it or not. She, I just think she, her face looks stupid. I don't know. It's very round. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it looks like she's been stung oh by bees. Oh, my God, that one perfect. Whatever, right man. Uh, Rumor Willis says yeah. the same face. But what I, what I do know yeah, is Yeah, somebody this. needs to take a belt sander to this whole area right here. Yeah. That, you can do it. They're rich. I, Get your shit super fixed. Rich. Come on. You're super fucking rich. Look at, Shave uh, down some bones. Look at Kylie Jenner. She she's went, had everything yeah. done. She everything went done. from uh, clearly going to have some problems in life looking little girl mm-hmm. to a uh, super hot fucking 20 year old. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah and yeah, all it yeah. took was a little bit of money, a little bit of surgery in there. And now she's a billionaire. So now you're not ugly. Yeah. You're poor. And, and now you're named after a religious figure who's not religious. Correct. Cause Noah's look, that's uh, top well, I came three before them. So it's top I mean, three. It's Jesus, Moses, and then probably Noah. No, where you're like, Noah, Oh man, your parents are religious. Noah would not be a great example. You're talking about just for names. Cause yeah. no, but people don't name their kid Job. I, right. Sometimes arrested development. Yeah. But that it was George Oscar blue Ezekiel G O B. I always think Ezekiel. That's it's why like people, the bread. people yeah. always call it 25, 17 people always call it man. gob. That's why gob. Yeah. 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 But, uh, no, Noah was kind of a piece of shit, dude. So were his kids. I mean, easy. You know his, you know his hey, two. Noah. No, his two daughters I'm, got I'm him sitting right here. His yeah. two daughters got him drunk and then fucked him. You know that, right? Yeah. No, yeah, I do yeah. not know oh, this yeah. part of the story. That's why they built the ark. Well, that's not why. It was. He was tired of getting fucked by his daughters. He wanted to get away from him. Yeah, he was like, let me take some animals. Well, out it was there. either that or Snickers. Want to get away for a while? Snickers, <laughs> 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 or whatever. It's not going anywhere. Is, is it Southwest, Southwest or Snickers? Ah, uh, it's Southwest. Yeah. Snickers is uh, not, going not going anywhere, anywhere for, for a while. while yeah. That's it. Yeah. Which he wasn't because he was. They got him drunk because yeah. he was a drunk piece of shit. And how long did he end up on that boat, Noah? I mean, this is all news to Honestly, me, guys. I thought he was a good dude. After. Seriously, dude. If my I, name was Martin Luther King Jr. Jr., yeah, I would know I mean, all about Martin Luther everything. King Jr. <laughs> I'm coming to light with this. I thought he was a good dude, uh-huh. helped out some animals two by two. Sure. But no, he ended up fucking his daughters or well, sisters. The daughters well, they, him. they kind of raped him. Yeah. I mean, if you, yeah. Let's, let's, did they? Yeah, no. let's be real tender with that. Okay. Yeah. Let's be real tender with that. What's your name, name of your company, by the way? Stars and Stripes Company. Stars and Stripes Company. Yes. Dot com? StarsAndStripesCo.com as far as social media is Somebody concerned. Somebody took it. Somebody took the company, huh? I think we just went with Co. When we first really? Did it. it was a little easier. That's Stars what's on Stripes.co. You be a uh, David Allen Co. fan? No. Okay. No, you no. can't. Definitely. It's, 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 <laughs> funny. It's, it's funny you mentioned that. Danny Worstop had a, a, a gig booked here, I think in Austin, right? Yes. He had a gig booked here in Austin, and uh, he's like, cool, hey, I'll be here in Austin next week or two weeks from now, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he started getting lit the fuck up. He goes, wait, what's going on here? So he looked... <laughs> 
onto the uh, onto the set list, and, yeah. it, and it was David Allen Coe opening. So in Georgia, like, oh no, you can't do that. No, I'm I'm from Georgia. That was the trick to see if somebody was racist. Of like, hey man, you listen to David Allen Coe? And if they like, said yes, fuck yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah, and you're like, oh man, that gets hell serious. yeah, man. We got to take our country back. <laughs> well, we're gonna <laughs> cut to a quick commercial break. Yeah, exactly. Right Stars and Stripes Co. And uh, you yeah. made us this personalized drinking bros. Yeah. Flag. Thank you for going back to the Y, Georgia. Look at the producer and the man you're becoming super proud of you by the way um thumbs up from me to you and maybe a thumb inside of you from me to you later you never know if well you if you're saying that right. i'm getting on the mic <laughs> if you're talking about thumbs in the b i'm gonna chime in well look i mean if you're gonna do a digital rectal exam and you're gonna use the thumb which i wouldn't recommend by the way because there's not as much feeling at the tip of the thumb as the feeling at the uh, tip of the index finger sure you, you got to go in bert coincidences you got to go in this way right mm -hmm. from behind so a thumb would actually ergonomically be better correct so American Giorgio, yeah. he's just trying to help you out, you piece of shit. Yeah. One finger or two, better make it three. American yeah, Pie. Yeah, go, go all in. Easy. Go all in. Were you a, a listener of the show? Yeah. No shit. For how long? A little bit. Not forever. I'm not a forever fan of you guys. Jesus Christ, Sorry. Noah. You're really I, I mean, I, I, I got here. He calls me a piece of shit. Yeah. You guys are fucking up my past and my name. So I think we're even. No, it's here. not. It's, it's the Bible, dude. You got a problem with the Bible now? Hell yeah, no. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is America, 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 you son of a bitch. But oh. what, you hate Mike Pence? Uh, you hate his mother? <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh, I'm out here playing cards with my brother's kids. Um, it's Billy Bob Thornton. Big, big fan. No, of I, the, I, uh, uh, big fan of your work. In I all sincerity. Yeah, 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 these yeah, flags yeah. are all dope, man. Dope as shit, and it's heavy. It's very heavy. It's got some weight to it. It's, it's made out pine, of pine, baby. It's real is it wood, pine, bitch. It's pine. Is it Georgia pine? I, I don't know. We don't discriminate. We like all pine. Okay. Mm, all, all, all pine pines, matters. Yeah. Yeah. All pine all matters. Matter. That'd be a good t shirt. Nailed it. Yeah. Um, where are you guys based out of? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Ooh. Mm hmm. Good little seven hour. Yeah, that's a journey. Did you guys drive down here today? Yeah. Yeah, we got up at 4 this morning, hit the road by 5, got here by like 11.30. Fuck so. you. Are you an Oklahoma Sooners fan? I'm not. That kid back there is. Is he uh, really? I'm a Cowboy fan. Oh, Choke oh, even worse. Yep. What's, wh who's worse this year, the Sooners or the Cowboys? Sooners, for oh, sure. Sooners, you, oh, you're talking sure. about not, not Dallas. Oh, ah, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, State, the one that They're never gets any attention. Barely whatsoever. hanging on. Well, when you win well, their they won their opener, what was it, by barely. six? Barely. As a former Mizzou Tiger, both of y'all can suck it. Yeah. Well, you got one win with, with LSU, Giorgio, and I, w I don't want to hear your bullshits. But uh, my team's, OU's down too. My OU team. OU is terrible this year, so you're, you're, you guys are good. My team's undefeated. I don't tell me why the Big Twelve won't play defense because they haven't played yet. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah my team is undefeated as well. Uh, probably going to be national champions, but whatever. Well, OU's got a fresh, fresh team. Do all they all across the board? Yep. Fresh is in Subway or fresh is in like pretty fresh? Yeah. Jared Subway? Mm, kitty I touching mean, Subway? I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it in the kitty pool it, touching section. But here's yeah. the problem with the Big 12. They don't play any fucking defense whatsoever. Therefore, I, I, Dan and I can't take any Big 12 team seriously um, these days. Um, offense, look, it's great. And if you're betting the over on every single game, if it's at 79, you're good to have that over for every single Big 12 game. But you guys stopped playing defense about six or seven years ago, and I can't figure out why. I don't know. Tanner, you got to answer to that question? I do not. Uh, <laughs> okay, he's starting yeah. a sports Dennis podcast no with zero in all insight. Seriousness, there's oh, th this is the guy who's starting the sports podcast? Yeah, you, you don't can't have a, answer that you don't fucking have an answer question. for that? Tanner. It's recruiting. I mean, we can't keep up with you the You might as well call SEC. your dad on Sunday nights instead of starting that podcast. I'll save you 15 minutes. <laughs> totally kidding. Um, tell me here. I don't know why we can't play defense. Uh, I, yeah, it's weird, though. Those, I mean, I don't think it's – why would it be a recruiting thing? Now, it does go – College does go in phases. You do seem to see conferences get really heavy on certain aspects of the game, right? I can tell you why. I've got a theory on this. Um, actually, this is super interesting. I don't think we've ever talked about this before. Why the Big 12 doesn't play defense. Yeah. Everything is listed, the top three run, uh, 300 on, on ESPN. Most of that top list, like the five stars, that that's, gets you real sexy notice, gets you all the articles written about your team. Um, they're all offensive players. So, therefore, you're trying to go after, like, the Spencer Rattlers and those guys, right? Um, but you actually need defense. Um, and the problem is you blew your load trying to get some top five guys, and then after that it's like, oh, shit, well, who's left? But the other schools are recruiting defense just as heavily as they're recruiting offense. But it's also because nobody wants to live in the state of Oklahoma. So, there you have it. That could you be got me there. there. You got me there. That was my next question. I'm not what do you do in that. Tulsa? Yeah, what do you do there? I, well, for I mean, fun, we live, we breathe, but I mean, there's really, <laughs> so I grew up on a ranch. So that was real easy. You know, just yeah. get into shit, hunt, 
that's why we're trying to get you guys to come down. But yeah, really nothing. There's fucking nothing to do in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, there's Brick City or Brickton or whatever it's what called. What are you fucking going to do there? Go to a bar? Yeah. yeah. Every city in America has a bar. Has a bar in it. I uh, mean, actually, the, the move is Texas. I'm trying to convince the wifey to... To, to come to, down yeah, here. Look, like, we all moved here. I didn't have to twist her arm. She was in. Well, I want to move out to Rockwall, which is right outside of Dallas. That's my go-to. Mm, let's see. I was, it's about 30 minutes outside yeah, of Dallas. Yeah, yeah. We were there. We did a gig in Frisco, uh, which mm. is about 30 minutes outside of Dallas. North. Yeah, north. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a very nice area. Like Dallas it. is fine. It's super liberal. I guess so is Austin. But the whole fucking state will be blue in like five uh, yeah, years. Yeah, Austin is... Yeah. The gym of all of it. Dude, I, everybody's moving here, and it's that, that's what happens. You move, you take over, you turn it blue, and then you bitch about life. You think it'll that. really go all blue? A whole no, time? I, I do. Cool. No. Dan and I are split on I this. I don't think so. Um, in my county, because uh, the county commissioner is one of my neighbors out there, and uh, I was like, what's the story? And he goes, man, I'm like one of the last Republicans left out here, and uh, it's going to turn. I, unless, I think it, it will. unless it gets so ridiculous that they start pushing people out, families out that have been here forever, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't see that happening. I just think there's going to be so many new people moving in, and that's what happens. You have kids, they all become fucking idiots, and then, uh, well, you know, you in, start to believe in In Oklahoma, in like every other truck in Oklahoma has a Trump flag. Mm-hmm. When I, as soon as I drove into Texas, I thought that was going to be the case. I didn't see one. I haven't seen one bumper sticker. Or Strange, right? It's weird. Yeah. So when we did the uh, election prediction show with Alex Jones last week, um, I had Oklahoma going hard red. That was the easiest call in the world. Um, Super. Nate, now Nate Silver's maps have a, like a light color, like a pink for Texas, not a hard red. But you're just like, man, so was, is it teetering that way? And the answer, the answer is yes. If um, sure the entire is. city council, the mayor, everybody here in Austin is, is blue. Dallas is entirely blue. It's, it's all Democrat. All of the city of Dallas. I think your big cities, no matter where you go, is always mm. going to be kind of blue, though. Yeah. yeah but Gross. every single but, one of them. But Gross. all your towns, your small towns, which far outweigh the cities, yeah. are going to be red. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I vo- did you vote yet? Yes. Yeah, I voted, too. I, 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 got I, reg- I registered to vote. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. Well, what the fuck? I mean, if you're going to lie on air, like, I'm not, that's a I, yeah, weird but flex. I, I, I correct myself, Isn't it so. uh, illegal to lie about vote? I don't even I think I it is. I don't Giorgio, know should we call the police? You could. Okay. Uh, they've already also, the I have a little button under the desk. I've already yeah, pressed it. So, just yeah, no, yeah. notify them. We got a, a, some voting fraud going on in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like we're breaking, we're, bre- we're, we're breaking this live on air, right? Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, this yeah. is huge for us. Yeah, it's not, it's not so much the voting. It's just this fraud right here um, okay. who's lying yeah. about voting. Uh, you're voting for Trump, obviously, right? Correct. There we go. There we yeah. go. Yeah. I, here's what I will say. So I, I just voted. Right. Um, and the lines were extensive, not because of what you think of like, holy shit, people were dying to, to vote. Um, but the COVID thing of like six feet apart, it made the That's- appearance of the lines look longer. So if you're out there and you show up on, on uh, the third to vote, I would recommend to go early if you are going to vote. Uh, obviously, we don't tell you what to do on this show. If you want to stay home and do coke in your pajamas, feel free. But uh, send us a picture of the pajamas, though, because if they're good, yeah. co- like I need a new set of coke pajamas. And honestly, I don't know where to look. No, no. And um, it's holiday season. I feel like, man, just the weight of the world on my shoulders. Right now. <laughs> About all the, the Christmas gifts that I need to buy still. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a pretty cool website. They can buy Christmas gifts. on. I guess. Where, what's that called? Uh, www.starsandstripes.com co.com okay and what else do you sell there besides flags and we i mean personalized the, sh- the shirt that i got on we got a bunch of apparel and stuff and then uh mainly flags but we're branching out a lot more apparel so yeah so condoms That's awesome we american flag condom would be amazing it yeah. would be amazing yeah it would be did you bring any shirts for us yes awesome i got you a few oh shit we would have worn them live on air today um, large and then double xl for you right Triple, yeah. Okay. Trip X, dude. It just depends on if I'm flexing or not. Yeah. yeah. He goes Trip X, though, because he tucks his dong up. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. I roll it up in the bottom of that thing. That yep. way it's like nice and soft. Anytime I show it to my girlfriend, it's like almost like an unveiling. Yeah. Like I do this, <laughs> and it's like kind of rolls down. Yeah. She's like, oh, got it. <laughs> I shoot off great. fireworks and shit. She loves it. When we go out together, she calls us two men and a baby. Yeah. The baby is ding dong. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Uh, what's your wife all about? What's her stats? Where'd she, you meet her at? So I uh, met her in my mom's dental office right before I was going on vacation. So, so she was gassed up <laughs> in the chair, and you're like. <laughs> no, she was a dental hygienist. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I thought she I was a know. patient there. Yeah. And then that's her brother the back there, too. So yeah. Oh, I'll that's her him. brother, the one yeah. who knows nothing about sports? <laughs> <laughs> that guy? 
That guy who knows nothing, zero <laughs> about sports back there. You know, the shitty thing is, is he's like the sports guru in our family. So, Is he? Come on, man. When is this show air? I, I, I would ask him for a lock. Let's see. It's airing Sunday night. Um, does he have a mic? Give yes, him, yes give he him does. Well, hold right, on. Right, let's find out. The, no, there's let's, two games on Monday, yes, actually. So let's find out here, okay? Chiefs, Bills, minus three and a half. Fake Dan called it, by the way. Um, you, you would call this spread in advance on another site, and I'm proud of you for that. I also want to give you a shout-out for your Coastal Carolina pick the other day. Um, people went bug fuck and drinking bro sports. Sign up. It's all downhill from here. It is, yeah. You've, <laughs> you've peaked. You definitely peaked. We'll see about your golf pick on the weekend. We're recording this a day in advance. So, Chiefs, Bills, minus three and a half. Tanner, who do you got? I mean, I'm going to stick with Chiefs. Mahomes is the... Uh... The, the, the deal breaker. He's going to seal the deal. I agree. So I put, Dan, Dan and I, this is our biggest bet of the year. We, I, I put $2,000 on the Chiefs. I mean, Josh Allen's no joke, though. He's so. not, and he's, he's great. And I, I'm a huge Josh Allen fan. They're going to score some points. I think it's going to be a 38, 30 games, something like that, to be honest. So you got the over in that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Josh I, Allen, by the way, looked like garbage trash on uh, Tuesday night against Absolutely. the Titans. Water trash, right. yeah. yeah. But the Titans have a better defense than the Chiefs, obviously. The Here's the problem. Well, we'll see if Le'Veon Bell signs with the Chiefs and if he actually plays. I doubt he's going to play on Monday. Ooh, if he signs, he'll play. He's Andy Reid will get him in there. A, according to – we have a lot of drinking bros in uh, Kansas, Kansas City, City, right? Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah. And they work – some of them are cops. Some of them work in real estate. So apparently Le'Veon Bell's there today looking at fucking condos in downtown Kansas City. Mm-hmm. So it looks like that's really going to happen. I don't know when he's actually going to play, though. But either way – He's Bill, healthy. The Bills have had a lot of trouble with the run game this year. Mm-hmm. A lot more than they're used to, but their pass rush is still good. We're going to see if Mahomes learned a lesson last week and he's going to stay stick around and actually run that fucking offense yeah. or if he's going to run around like an asshole and throw balls all over the place. We'll see. We'll see. I, either way, that was, our, that was Dan and I's biggest bet of the year so far. But I think they're going to win. I think it's safe to say they're going to win. Same. We, we put a fuck ton of money on that. Um, what's uh, what's, Cardinals the, what's Cowboys. the double header? Yeah. Car- Cardinals, Cowboys. It's uh, Arizona and minus the spread one and a half. Is one and a half. Uh, who you got in that? Well, since uh, Cardinals. OU's my school, I mm-hmm. got to go with uh, Kyler Murray. Kyler over Andy Dalton, even though I feel like Andy Dalton's actually not that big of a downgrade from Dak Prescott. No, I don't either, man. Is that weird? I don't either. And I, and I think those, uh, I think Michael Gallup and those guys will finally catch some fucking balls there. Um, I, I agree. I'm with you. All right. Maybe there is hope for you, Tanner. I've, hey, got, I've got Arizona yeah, thank in that you. game as well. I've Redemption, got Arizona in that thank game God. As well. I, think, I think Arizona's going to win that game by 10 points, to be honest. Yeah, I do too. Like, uh, Dallas's defense is hurting garbage badly. town usa they are hurting they have their secondary is not good and to play kyler murray you either have to 100 percent shut down the run game yep. or you have to have a spy on him all the time yeah and dallas's secondary can't do it they cannot put a spy on him they will get beat every single time every single time and you know the stadium's only at 25 percent capacity um jean sales jean shorts uh sales are down this year in dallas so um you know, that's going to say a lot about what's, uh, what's going to happen there. And then Cools, actually, um, Cools cigarettes. Uh, sales are really, really down this year in Dallas because uh, having a tough time there uh, for the Cowboys. But uh, either way, I'm with you on those two picks, uh, and, and I'm proud of you. Um, now, your wife, you guys have a kid? Yes. What's the— what's She the... just turned seven. Okay. So nice. So, kiddo, wife, he's going back to school. Um, I'm doing Stars and Stripes Company full-time. So, yeah. Nice. What's she going back to school for? Children's psychology. Whoa. So she was doing, when we met, she was. What does it uh, tell you that your, your, so your kid, your female child turned seven mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden your wife wants to go back to school for child psychology? <laughs> what does that tell What's you? What's happening here? She's always wanted to do it. So okay. No, it makes, I don't, it makes I don't it believe you. I don't either. She is trying to like uh, get into my brain a little bit more though. See, that's a big problem. Yeah, yeah. That's that's you got to shut that shit down right now. <laughs> right now, I tried to. She goes into it, and I just walk away. Slap the book out of her hand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you, fucking nerd? <laughs> yeah. Start calling her a nerd. reader. <laughs> you fucking reader. Why don't you go read somewhere else? <laughs> I could just play dumb all the time. Just take my IQ and just toilet it. So yeah, she mm. doesn't even want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> How long have you guys been married? Uh, about two, three years. Mm. Three years. Yeah. So uh, the the child is from a previous relationship. Nope. It's from us. Uh, New Year's happened. So, oh. Yeah. And then you guys just got married, what, five yeah, years we, later? I mean, we loved each other, and then, uh, you know, but we had been together, we're almost 10 years in. Shit. Been together, and then had a kiddo along the way, and then got married later. We want to do the house thing first, so. Nice. Uh, on the day this show airs, it'll be my uh, wife and I's anniversary on the day that this airs, so. 
Happy anniversary, Jesse. You and I yeah. should go to dinner somewhere. Probably. We should. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll bring her some leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, for yeah. her anniversary last year, for your anniversary last year, we were in like Philly at a football game we or were, something. We yeah. were. Uh... <laughs> yeah. And then in 2018, she was like nine months pregnant. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we were also. She's super stoked with we were me also and all of my life decisions. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure your wife will be stoked with you on this show today. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. She Does she listen is. to the show? She will. She's going to start. <laughs> She'll definitely listen to this one. So let's get into the Holocaust and your thoughts. Um, <laughs> oh, God damn. All right. Just see your wife and her whole family yeah. listen to the yeah, show. And like, it's like, okay. Mm. Like, how has the in. Holocaust affected your ability to make wooden flags? Yeah. And do you plan on making any more Nazi flags? Because we saw the ones you showed us on your phone. Yeah. That was not my phone. So. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding. You come on air and we just destroy your business yeah. completely. And it was just like, man, we have this dope ass actually, drinking blo- bros <laughs> flag on the show but then he also had all these really fucking strange nazi war memorabilia flags in 2020 it would probably thrive even more i'd probably leave and i'd make record sales if that was yeah maybe 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 what's the weirdest thing you've you've ever had uh someone ask you to you to make like a custom thing of gay pride flag really yeah that was it two dudes that's not even that weird though what about a gay pride flag where like an overlay of a normal flag right we yeah. do we do that all the time with like cross rifles or whatever the fuck. No. What if you was this two wieners touching tips? No, yeah, docking. I haven't, I haven't it's called docking. Is that on, the one you wanted? I, yeah, yeah. I would love. I would make that. I one honestly, for you guys. Oh, I would do man. that for you. We would love a docking flag. That'd be so great. <laughs> a pegging flag. Just, well, a pegging or a reverse flag? cowboy. Okay. You know, we're. Uh, you know what reverse cowboy is? You know what reverse cowboy is? Yes. Explain that position. Reverse cowboy. It's yeah. Cowboy turn around. Yeah, but it's a dude yeah, on top of you. Yeah, yeah, it reverse. But Correct. although you can go uh, strap on reverse cowboy too, if you, if it's a lady. Yes, if it's a lady. There's nothing gay about that, by the way. At all. There's nothing by definition that a woman can do to a man that's gay. That's not what gay means. No. So just relax, guys. I think just, that's just called opening doors. Just let her right? get in there. It's just called being from Atlanta. You if know? your wife walks into the room and she has like fucking dish gloves on. Yep. Snaps those things. You just fucking lie down and shut the fuck up. Yep. It'll be like a Blink-182 video. Yeah. You know? <laughs> or run. I'd probably run. Is she wearing the nurse outfit or is it? Yeah. She... You got to. You got you to gotta pull that purple glove down. Yeah. My wife's rough. already trying to get my brain. I don't need her in my ass, too. Mm. Uh, you, are you, you guys aren't in an ass play or anything? No. Ass eating season just started, by the yeah, way. Yeah, dude. You're good to go right now. Yeah. Mm. It's past October 1st. Uh, so you're fine. Um, what do you, you think is going to happen in this upcoming election? Who you got? I just think that the the media is downplaying everything involved in Trump. Mm-hmm. I think that I mean, I watched the debate. It was very cringeworthy. It was awful. Uh, so I think they're doing a really good job at making him look worse and worse as the days go on. Mm-hmm. But I think he's going to take it. I, I I got him as well. I got him as well. I'm I'm curious to see this uh, town hall mm-hmm. tonight. Well, I mean, t- Tommy Lee announced today that he's going to leave America if. Uh, if Trump is reelected, I, it's Peace funny, out. man. See you, dude. I, I talked about this in Ron Spencer Revolution. He's going to drag his big dumb dick over to Greece, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's where all the pedophiles are, apparently. So, yeah, go ahead and go over to yeah. Greece, guy, with your fucking hepatitis C. Give Enjoy everybody that. else AIDS over yeah. there. Hep C was cured, though. Um, so, shout out to uh, Gilead. Yeah, they, they cured it. I don't know. Hep C is cured. Um, the company is called Gilead, who actually did that. You can fact check when that, fake Dan. I used to have that stock. That's why I know. Um, they were selling it for like. It was three months. And you could, you could get it for like twelve hundred bucks a pop. Is or have that stock like a euphemism for for hepatitis? Yeah, C? I've had a, I've had a Hep oh, okay. C. So. Nice. No, 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 I, I didn't. But uh, Pamela Anderson did. Um, yeah, she got it from Tommy Lee. Correct. And um, there was some treatments done, and she was able to get remarried and have vaginal sex again without uh, latex. So, well, I mean, I wouldn't have worn it anyways. No, you yes. wouldn't have. <laughs> no. You wouldn't have. But. Uh, Come on, man. Hypothetical. We know some people who might, may or may not have had sex with her. When did they cure, the, cure this? Uh, about two years ago, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, it was initially in three treatments. But here's what I didn't know, Dan. You probably know the answer to this. Once a drug comes out, you can take it, reproduce it, and and just call it something you else. You can only uh, so you can have a drug. This is this is what uh, pharmaceutical companies do. They apply a, pat, a pending patent, like mm-hmm. a patent pending thing, but it's, they apply a pending patent to it for 10 years it'll last for 10 years and they put out a shittier version of the drug for that first 10 years yep. and then they make also a better version or an extended release or something like that and they release it the 10 years after that yeah so when people everybody switches to the shitty generic version after 10 years which you can do then they 
switch to the better one. Yeah, so if you're out there and you want to get hep C, feel free. Like, you, you're cured now, and I think it's like three pills. Is that what it is? Did you look it up? It's like a penicillin shot. It is. Yeah. Oh, so, so they've gotten that far now where it's just like one shot and you're good? Sure, yeah. Same with AIDS. I get a cocktail for that, too, where it's just like you'll live forever. I think they'll have a universal pill one day. Oh, probably. You just take it, and it just cures. Yeah, but it's the again. size of that fucking water bottle, and it goes in your butthole. Yep, it goes so it's straight, like, and it's going to dissolve. I'd probably do that over having AIDS. I'm going to be real honest. Have you had AIDS? No. Well, then you're kind of speaking outside of school here, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, you get HGH when, you're, when you got AIDS. Yeah. And all sorts of, like, you get Myers cocktails every single day. There's all kinds of cool shit. Are you on any cool shit? Are you on the HGH? You got some fucking guns and Navarone on you there. No, I appreciate it, but no, I'm not. That's just uh, all natural, huh? No, yeah. Yeah. Come on. This well, isn't like I, a rock I, I situation. Eat, I eat steak are you, are just you, about every night, and I just work out a lot. I you, used to do bodybuilding for quite a while. Oh, no shit. Are yeah. you familiar with micro expressions? Me? Right. Yeah. So it's like a way that you can tell if someone's being honest or not. Right. And what do you think? What's your, what's so your read on him? When you said, are you on anything? He said, N- yeah. <laughs> See, now that's a problem. <laughs> This fucking guy. It's like somebody. This fucking guy. Now we're getting into it. Somebody's supposed to seem angry to a question you're asking, but really you see a smile or a smirk in the corner of their face. That means they think they're getting away with it. So if you want to think I'm on testosterone, trend or any in awesome stuff. Go for it. No yeah. one said anything about tests. You just came out and brought that up. Yeah. So, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. we're going to talk bodybuilding, I was well, we do. We talk about it every single six day. Six years. <laughs> so yeah. uh, that's by usually the, the number one. By the way, my fan page guy is a chemist right yeah uh so he was he had some advice for you on what you should be taking oh what's what, what's his whole sitch is i want the, i want all of the things we Hang talked on. about this on keep air. talking and I'll look i will and i'll and you know what i'll get into this story too because i put a thing on my facebook about the rock after he came out for joe biden mm-hmm. made that passionate oh video in hawaii it was so fucking lame um i just said on my facebook i was like the only thing i want to hear out of the rock's mouth is the exact cocktail of steroids he's taking, what, what are the times uh, that he's taking them, and I want all of the steroids, right? All of them. There was one guy who just raged and was like, The Rock has done more for, for people in this world than you've done for people your entire life, you piece of shit. I fucking hate you. And I was like, first of all, why do you follow me on Facebook? Second of all, I genuinely want this, the steroids of The Rock to become a better human, right? I don't understand what the problem with that is. Uh, nobody has that solution. What was Homeboys? Here's what he says. He okay. says, uh, if you're actually interested in the rock cycle, this is what it is. So you take uh, test suspension stacked with uh, Diana Ball. D-Ball. D- D-Ball for four weeks. Yep. Then you bridge over to Winstraw for six weeks to offset, <laughs> to offset the water retention caused by the D-Ball and to achieve vascularity. But the real secret is that you switch off test uh, suspension and go to a, uh, this interesting new drug called Equipoise. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, it's for, uh, I think that's for horses, actually. Yes. It is, yeah. 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 So apparently a lot of guys in the industry are using Equipoise as their follow-up to the test cycle. So well, I, I, we were talking about this before we went on air. I'm, I'm doing this, uh, there's a fucking great gym here, uh, New Fit, where they hook you up with this, these electrodes, right? Um, and you can barely lift like 20 pounds because you're all shocked to shit. It is the, the most intense workout, and I can only do it twice a week because you're fucking crazy sore afterwards. But I had, I had asked him, I was like, what's the fucking real shit? There was a guy in there that was massive, right? B- about your size, who had clearly taken I'm steroids. Not, yeah, no, I'm not. No, you cle- you've clearly taken steroids. <laughs> um, and that, and he walked fun. into the building with a needle hanging out of his arm. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hey, and what's that like, needle, whoa, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. By the way, you don't shoot into your fucking arm bands if you're doing it's right testosterone. Into your ass. It's right into your ass. Well, I go to the top of the thigh, actually. Oh, do you really? You're yeah. one of those? Well, I'm not a Yeesh. pussy. Yeah, I am. I'm, you use am. your ass muscles way more than you use your thigh muscles throughout the day. So if you're worried about being sore all the time, not that you just gotta. No, no, I just don't want to see the needle. That's the thing. Oh, I love so that. I can't see it. I, rec- from I record it and then play it back <laughs> to myself throughout the day. Uh, but I've been going to this new new fit place, right? And uh-huh. I asked one of the guys who looked like you, very big dude, and I was like, "What's what's the fucking real shit here? Because that's not natural, right?" Um, and he goes, "Look, man." Uh, there's this one thing that they were giving livestock. And when you inject it, uh, you start coughing. Like you have a coughing fit. Trin. And, oh, it's trend. Trin buterol. Trin buterol. And you lose, it's for your, bulls. you lose your breath. It's for fucking bulls, yeah. So he said you, you lose your breath for like five minutes where you're just this violent coughing where it's just like you feel like you're going to die. Like you're going to have a heart attack. Wouldn't know one, but. Come on. I, I, was around, I mean, I was around it. I saw it. I mean, when I was doing bodybuilding, I saw all that shit. But one thing that 
we mentioned vascularity, that's normally just body fat shredding down. That has okay. really nothing mm-hmm. to do with drugs. I don't think that any drugs. It's drug maybe not increases. even body fat. A lot of times it's just water. Yeah, water coming retention off. coming off. Yeah, like if you when those guys cut weight for fights or whatever the fuck, or they uh, get vascular as fuck. Yeah, they get vascular yeah. as fuck. But they also, as soon as they eat and drink the next day, they gain like fucking fifteen. Pounds. It starts to go away. Yeah. They What's your last name? Elias. Elias. Okay. I'm looking for a trend in there. You know. Mm. Noah. Noah. Mm. Noah. Trend. <laughs> Elias. What Noah. Noah. D ball. Trend. Elias. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the cocktail, huh? That's no what he said. It just seems like so I, much shit. Though, I guarantee dude. it's times two for him. No, that's not that much stuff, though. That's what how many injections about. is that a, a week? You think? Uh, I mean, if you're going heavy on the test, probably two of those, and then you're taking uh, if you're taking Winnie, that's shit. That's a tablet now, isn't it? He has to be. He's had to have been on like HGH for the past. 10, 15 years, I guarantee. The Rock? Oh, yes. The Rock for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Everything yeah. that they're like, it's dumbed down. I guarantee it's like 10 times that. Man, who knows He's a it massive. Is. He's dude. at least yeah, taking yeah. some Whirlin or something like that, Yeah, right? Something that makes natural HGH produce. Mm-hmm. Who knows? It, who fucking knows? But it's he's Rock, got the dudes. Pico. Yeah, dude, he's got, he's got all, all of those things, man. Um, he's also eating anywhere from 10 to 15,000 calories in a day and working out for seen four to six hours. Meals? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you believe that, by the way? My wife says it's all bullshit. Yeah, yeah I do. I, cheat meals? Yeah, she's like, dude, I bet you he just does that for the gram. No, when I did cheat meals, it was almost similar. Like, I would have probably about five rolls of sushi and then ice cream and cookies. Like, for one, so I could only cheat once a month when it was real serious or mm-hmm. once a week. Okay. So, yeah, I just carb load the shit out of it. Yeah, but it would be like, seriously, like two to 3,000 calories at one meal sometimes. For these yeah. Guys. yeah, but if yeah, you're yeah, cutting, exactly. it's like you're not hardly eating anything. Mm. So when you get all that, it's like go for it. Man, the rock, dude. He's really fucking doing it, huh? Mm. That'd be helpful if your wife got into the, if she was going to be a doctor, to flip on over to the fitness are, side of it and start doing injections. Let me ask for you this: If since he came out with the whole Biden thing, are mm-hmm. you like one of these people who are like I'm not sporting him or watching any of his movies anymore, or is I, it just kind of whatever? I'm able to separate shitty people from good artists right. um, because I've worked with a lot of shitty people and who I just personally hated in real life. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I, I will go and watch them at, like in a movie. People that I've started with like two years later, I'll go and watch them in a movie and be like, oh, fuck, they were great in that. But I don't like them as humans. That's the way I feel about like The Rock, for example, right? Where I recognize he, he does a lot for people and all that shit. And he's probably a, a pretty good dude. I'm not sure why he would risk his fan base, though, by going either side, Trump or Biden, to be honest with you, because it doesn't benefit you. When you're a global star like that, it does not benefit you to, to pick a side. And I remember Jack Nicholson back in the 80s, right? It was a, a heated election um, right after Reagan. It was uh, Bush versus, who was 88? It's a Bush and... Uh, who was 88? Yeah. Who was, who was running back in oh, 88? Oh, Dukakis, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and they were trying to get Nicholson to pick a candidate. And he goes, mm-hmm. look, man, Republicans and Democrats both buy movie tickets. So I'm not saying shit. Um, and I think that's very, very smart if that's your brand. Yeah, right. right. Jordan said it too. Yeah. I mean, he was kind of half joking, but he also wasn't joking. Cause he, yeah. Michael Jordan, he was like, Republicans buy sneakers too. Exactly. And, and Vin, Vin Diesel, like fucking 15 years ago, people kept railing on him like, hey, are you gay? He's like, I have a lot of gay and straight fans. Yes. Not and a big and I know like, like Vin Diesel's one. That's what he said. Like, well, I'll out anybody on the show. Uh, like yeah, Vin Diesel's not gay, mm. which is surprising. If you look at his Instagram, <laughs> that's that's definitely a gay man who's trapped. I didn't know he had Instagram. Uh, are you kidding? I, yeah, I don't follow the guy. He is more follow. I, he, he might have more than The Rock. No, The Rock just surpassed fucking well, everybody. No, but he lost. He lost twenty million after that. Biden he thing, made yeah. some post like a couple days after. It was like, oh, thank you for having. Well, a magazine named him the most followed male. Yeah. So that it. was he was able to post off of that to be like, suck it, haters. And it was like, no, dude, we know you lost twenty to thirty million followers. Uh, like, gotcha. From that shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm able, I'm able to, to separate those guys. So like with the rock, you know, it, it look, he's not going to win a fucking Oscar or anything, but, uh, I'll, I'll go see his action movies and all that other They're shit. They're all okay. They're nothing like crazy. Right. right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, some of the of other f- ones I can't like a, like a Lena Dunham, like Hobbs and Shaw was complete dog get, shit. When's the last movie that, of the rocks that you saw? Like I watched, I watched baller sometimes. Jumanji. I haven't seen Ballers that. Ballers is good. I like Ballers because it was more... Um, it was a good show, yeah. Uh, I took my fuck. kids to Jumanji 2, 
And um, it was the worst fucking movie I've ever seen. Ballers reminds me of Honorage. Mm-hmm. And Honorage, like, we said it's like the three. league and Honorage yeah. Made, yeah. made a fucking they just, movie. Uh, they just redid it, is all they did. But uh, I watched The Rock and Jumanji, and he had to do a New York accent throughout the whole thing, like Danny DeVito, because I think he was, he had switched over from the Danny DeVito body to The Rock's body. Mm hmm. That was the worst two and a half hours of my life, and I it wasn't hated very it. good. No, and then uh, Kevin Hart, uh, the 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 guy who was playing him was uh, the the Murtaugh from uh, Lethal Weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, Rod, Roger Murtaugh. Roger Murtaugh. What's his real name? Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Yeah. yeah. So Ke- Kevin Hart, the entire movie talked, oh, in an old black yeah. man's voice like Danny Glover, and I was so angry but i'm with my two children at a drive-in and like you know, i knew i was in it and i couldn't go anywhere and i hate it but that was the rock the last rock movie and no lie i thought the same thing that you did where i was just like what the fuck's the appeal with this guy like what's the what's the story here um because you said hobbs and shaw was shitty right total dog shit i haven't seen any of the fast and furious movies after like part two yeah they're not good so what is what is it that he's doing i guess ball I consistency the, just- i saw the fate of the furious so I've seen that one, and I'm looking down this list for other movies of his. Skyscraper? Nope. Trash City. <laughs> not, not even worth mentioning. Like, I've seen the... Rampage? I've Awful. Seen, no, I haven't seen oh, any of those. The white, is that the white gorilla? No, that that, the, yeah, that's the video game from Sega Genesis that they made into a movie. That's great strange. video game. Terrible movie. I, I've seen uh, all the Fast and Furious movies, and then Pain and Gain was kind of funny. It was yeah. oh with Mark oh, Wahlberg. I, I love that. So that's love a Mark Marky Wahlberg Mark. movie. Here's Marky the Mark's deal. I, yes, that that's I'll go with Biden on you. Here's the deal. Um, Pain and Gain. I did like that, and I enjoyed uh, The Rock and Marky Mark. In Wasn't that, movie. that eight years ago at least? It though a, it was a very long time ago. I got to tell you, other than that one uh, in the Fast <laughs> and Furious movies, the last movie I've seen of his was The Other Guys. Which one was in he in with Ryan Reynolds? Well, the other guys, he was only in for two minutes. Yeah, he dies. 2010. He dies two minutes in. I didn't see Tooth Fairy. I didn't see... I saw Tooth get, Fairy was get, awful. I guess Get Smart is the last one. He was a main character that I actually watched. It wasn't a Fast and Furious It was movie. terrible. That was, uh, get Smart was terrible. Yeah, it was really bad. Mm. Yeah, what's, was the, there, what's the fascination with The Rock, man? Are, are we decoding The Rock on this show? That might be the, the title of this show, Gridiron, Decoding The Rock. Gridiron Gang was a good movie. Uh, they're all just kind of eh. yeah, yeah like um, some of these movies are the movies when they're on tv you'll kind of watch it until most you know, of his movies seem like they should only be on television right yeah yeah yeah. like yeah. five dollar like, like walking tall is an example of that the weirdest thing with oh yeah fucking terrible movie um the, the weirdest thing about this pandemic and the covid thing is because everybody ran out of content they're showing old movies again yeah right you realize how much better filmmaking was in like the 80s and 90s great it it was awesome yeah and you're just like holy shit where did it all go wrong and then you look at the rock and you're like that's where it went wrong even the older action stars right like sly Uh, i fucking love sly stallone was badass and shit and i i love the fuck out of rambo movies they're good. I watched Cobra, uh, Over the Top, Rockies. I love, genuinely love all those movies. And if they're on, I'll fucking watch them. You like, like the new Creeds? Yes, yes. They're fucking dope. Dude, they're fucking dope as shit. Like, he's been making rad shit forever. Yeah. Um, and I genuinely love, like, Stallone, when those movies come on, even though they're hilarious, like, I love them. Yeah. I love the fucking movies. Um, same with uh, Schwarzenegger. Back in the day, man. You give me Commando any fucking day of the week versus any rock movie, and I'm all in. Like, I've been watching the uh, old like mobster movies, like Goodfellas, Casino. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, When's the last time there was a good mob movie? I don't. The the Irishman. The Irishman was not a good movie. That was like it was long. It it was like a shitty fucking three hour documentary. If you cut out an hour and a half of that movie, yeah, (laughs) it would have been decent. Especially the part where Robert De Niro is trying to pretend to be a virile young man kicking the shit out of somebody on the sidewalk. Now your legs don't work anymore, Bobby D. How about you shut the fuck up about politics, by the way? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one where Robert De Niro. So, so here's the 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 biggest debate I have of all time for all of you guys, right? And this is what I've said to people: If you're somebody like Robert De Niro, is a perfect example who is one of the very greatest actors we've had in American history of all time. Agreed. Why, at the end of your life, the last 10 years of your life, come out and just start railing on the president when you're going to die, and unfortunately, everybody's just going to remember you for the guy It was like, is that the guy that fucking hated Trump and all that other shit and made those weird videos? Like, instead of this long, amazing, illustrious career of some of the best movies of all time, 
They're going to think of it was that crazy guy who made those fucking weird black and white Trump commercials. I just wouldn't do it at that point. Like, there's guys who've walked away. Gene Hackman walked away. Which is like, I don't want anybody to see me fucking die. Johnny Carson walked away. Uh, Sean Connery just walked away. Sean Connery. Yes, dude. And he was just like, hey, man, that's it. I, I want people to remember me for who I was. Not any of the other bullshit. And then they just step away. Bobby D couldn't do it, dude. No, I think there's a lot of uh, people in Hollywood trying to stay relevant, too. Well, that, because there's nothing shooting, so it's like, hey, man, you're trying to do all this weird shit. Is it shit. that, Is or it? are they desperate for fucking attention? I think both. that, too, yeah. They're just trying both. to stay relevant. Yeah, uh, both, but it's strange. Uh, but all those old, old 80s movies are on. Um, what about the... Uh, Bruce Willis, dude. Bruce Willis was a fucking action star. He was dope as shit. Yeah. All those diehards, like... Fucking Moonlighting. Moonlighting was badass. Like Pulp Fiction. Keanu Reeves is kind of different because he God does. Goddamn John Wicks. He does a wider Boy. array of movies, though. Like, you don't know if a movie come, that Keanu Reeves is in is going to be some kind of weird ass psychological drama or if it's going to be an action movie or if it's going to be. Like, like, he'll be a rape victim. Um, or a quarterback. Or a quarterback. Yes. That dude. was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a quarterback. The replacements. The replacements. I mean, that's a really good fucking movie. Yeah. Let's be good. real. It's, it's a fantastic movie. But yeah, you don't know what Keanu is going to do. Um, that Bill and Ted just came out. I didn't see it. But, uh, Hopefully John Wick 5, right? I haven't seen the Bill and so Ted they're shoot, they're, Yeah, they're shooting those. The, they can't put out enough so John good. Wicks, so by the way. So good. Uh, you know, the first one bombed. Why? Uh, nobody like, nobody saw office? it in America. Yeah. And then it exploded in China. And they were like, eh. Chinese box office They're is making all more than us. And they were like, let's make another one. And then people found it later on down the road. And now everybody's a gigantic fan of it. Wasn't Halle Berry in the last one? Because she called him. Yeah, with the two yeah. uh, German yeah. shepherds. Yeah. yeah. On yeah. the roof. Yeah. 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 Uh, she got just fly up, right? out of a tree and attack a guy. Yep. It's fucking badass, dude. All those John Wicks are rad. Uh, we get some sponsors who pay for the show to be on the air. First and foremost, Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Are you a member of the military? No, I'm not. A first responder? No. A teacher? No. Do you work in the government? No. Well, I can't get any of those fucking no, discounts, I bro. Can't, man. But if you want to get a bundle package, you can. 30% off of bundle packages. We're going to have to buy some extra shit and bundle it together. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and. Uh, Use the fucking deals, dude. Um, 36 month page ago program, no interest there at thegostbed.com. So, all of those deals are applicable with uh, everything that I just talked about, including that no interest. Who do we got next up, D'Anthony? ExpressVPN. Yeah, we do. ExpressVPN.com forward slash drinking bros. Finest VPN in the land. They've been with us for, for two years and hopefully many, many more, unless they get fucking hacked. Doubtful. Doubtful, Dan, because they're the best in the biz. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Not going not not to happen. Uh, if you go to expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros today, $7 a month. And if uh, you sign up for a year, you get three months for free. Um, also, you can watch like crazy fucking videos in other countries and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I just used it to crack into that Blippy video. Yeah, Blippy is one. Uh, anything that Twitter. Netflix. You can watch Netflix in other countries. Yeah, anything yeah. that Twitter uh, or Facebook tries Bands, to hide yeah. tries to hide from you, you can find it using this. Yeah, like Chinese fart porn is a big one. Huge, that's huge. Uh, you in a Chinese fart fart porn? I'm not. No. Uh -uh. Uh, come on, you got to come up to the end of the microphone. I'm not not into Chinese fart porn. Okay. Well, He's, what are you? It's anti, never too late to start. Anti Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Do you hate Chinese people? Do you have a big list to recommend? Is that what you're saying? Of Chinese fart Chi porn? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where to start? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Happy birthday. Happy uh, 19th birthday is, is the first one you should start with. Okay. Because um, then they fart on the cake, and that's yeah. that's a double fetish. Uh, we call that a cake farts. Double cake. Cake uh, farts. Double, yeah. yeah. Cake, cake farts. farts. That's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. It's a real thing, by the way. I believe it. Yeah. Um, what do you get down on? Nothing. No porn? No, no porn. Come on. I'm I swear to God. All right, just man. Never, it's never been like one of those things for me. Huh. It's not a vice. Yeah. What is, yeah. What do you, what, what's your vice? Probably working out. That's probably it. Just Jesus alleviate Christ, the demons. Dude. That's it. Alle Shooting alleviate guns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, look, so, man, you can alleviate the demons and buy a, like a shit. You can go to the dark web on expressvpn.com mm -hmm. if you want. Mm. buy uh, all kinds of ammo from all over the world. It can be fucking rattlesnake poison tipped ammo. Is that a thing, Dan? Venom. Should be. Poisonous is when you consume something and it kills you, and Whatever. venomous is when something bites you and it kills you. I'm not, a, I'm not an animal doctor, you know? Well, venom is 
Venom. Still so. not an animal doctor, guys. Uh, hey, Giorgio, can you check that wall of all the degrees I have? Is animal doctor one of them? Oh, it's not. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Oh, Thank uh, you there, 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 there is. Did you forget that? I think no. that was like the second term. Uh, you want to talk about a terrible movie. Uh, the fucking Robert Downey Jr. Oh version God. of God. Dr. Doolittle. I didn't know Robert Downey Jr. even had a version seen of that. Ah, it was $200 million. So it was a disaster. Wow. Did he do it Down in black? the toilet. Did he do it yeah. in blackface? Or? No, he did it, he did it uh, honky face. See, he should have gone blackface for it. I agree. I agree. Uh, look, speaking of blackface, they're going to take that movie off the uh, interwebs, but expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros will help you find it. Yep. Uh, go there today. Get it. Seamless app that runs in the background of all your electronic devices, phones, computers, fucking fridge, fridge TVs. Um, everybody's getting fridge TVs now. I'll just put Huge. a fucking TV in the, in the... Matt's got one. I know. That was, the first, that was the first time I saw it. I was like, is that a fucking fridge on your TV? And he goes, yeah. It just it came with it, and I was like, "No, no, it didn't." You ordered that special. Yeah, you definitely ordered that. And uh, it was like it was an extra hundo, you know. Mm, I don't blame him. Maybe. I mean, I've got so many TVs now. I don't know if I can stand another one. No, I can't either. Like, how how far are you willing to walk to be entertained? <laughs> is it two feet or is it like sixteen feet? You know what I mean? It's four. It's, four is always the answer. Yeah. Four. By feet. the way, they're shooting uh, the Matrix Four right now. Yeah, they are Ooh. with the uh, Wachowski sisters because they switched. They're oh, not brothers are anymore. Are they still the people for it? Uh, yes, they are. And they, na- they rename themselves female names. Lana. One of them's Li- yeah, Lily and Lana, I think, is the names. What, now, what are, the ch- real. what are the chances? Let's say, I mean, maybe, maybe it's <laughs> Two high. brothers. Maybe it's high. I don't know. Because it's, uh, gender dysphoria is, is something that really happens, right? Yeah. Like your brain gets wired for dude and your body gets wired for chick. Or I vice thought versa. I was Judy Garland for like four years. Yeah. Well, it's because of your love of old movies, I mm-hmm. think. Um, but and dogs. I, maybe it is likely that... Two, are they twins or are they just brother and, or brother and brother or sister and sister or whatever the fuck? Uh, who knows? I so maybe, know maybe, maybe it's genetic. Who knows? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or just an awesome coincidence. Which would be funny if it, like, <laughs> imagine, imagine you had, you're a dude, big burly ma- macho dude, and then you have a brother that uh, is a trans woman now. Yeah. Right? Oh my and God. then it comes out that it's definitely genetic. And yeah. You're, you're like, oh, oh man, hell no. I just want to <laughs> hear that guy explaining for the rest of his life that he's not going to become trans at some point. Or do you when you go That'd to the, be really funny when you me. go to the doctor to switch it on over? Do you hold hands while your, your wieners get lopped off? Um, probably not. Okay, I doubt they're in the same room at the same time. Although that'd be good reality television. It'd be awesome if yeah. you were, your fingers were intertwined and you yeah. could do the surgery together and just get both both. Dicks I wouldn't removed. be able to take it seriously. I'd be making weird noises and all, all the time, like, "Oh, dude, they cut your fucking dick off, bro!" <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just lost your hammer, dude. And the fucking doctors would be like, "Can you please shut the fuck up?" Yeah. Bro? Yeah. I'm an Indian and I don't understand anything you're saying. Because <laughs> there would be an Indian doctor. I'm not letting a white doctor cut my no, dick and balls off. No, there will be no white hands, doctor wise, around my weenus and or ball sack area. This is an interesting fucking cast. For... Who do we got uh, last but not least here on the show? That's it today. Uh, it, it's not it. It's never it today. Uh, we'll go to DukeCannon.com. Just because I used that soap this morning, I smell fantastic. DukeCannon.com, promo code Drinking Bros 10. Uh, if you order over 20 bucks, you get free shipping. This is your guys' sponsor. That's why I say it all the time. I have really bad posture. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're getting there. We're getting to be Larry Kings because you, yeah. You <sighs> get a, I need one of those things that you glue to the top of your back. Have you seen oh, that shit? It like, yeah, keeps you it. upright all the time. Yeah, get a is. nice single of me, Giorgio. Who's, who's, more, who's more jacked? Me or this fucking dude over here? There it is. Look at him. He's hiding under the <sighs> desk. Get your fucking trend, dude. Get it's your de- fucking trend. It's bro. definitely uh, not you, uh, Ross. By the way, sorry, bud. I mean, look at look at this. Look at the fucking bear trap. Holy you shit! Go to a cattle farm. Uh, sorry, I thought there was a real bear caught in there. So there was a real bear caught in there. Um, when you were doing steroids for the first time, did it? <laughs> 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 it's just an on. Go to DukeCannon.com. I'm totally kidding, dude. DukeCannon.com. Drinking Bros. Ten. Um, so if you're if you're injecting and then you need to wash uh, your body afterwards, you get the blood off. You know you don't want to put your boxers back on. <laughs> Steroids and the rock. I'm kidding. You're fucking huge, dude. Like your arms are. Like I appreciate goddamn that. trees. It's amazing. It's amazing. Favorite tree? Go. Noah versus the rock. Uh, pine. Let's is it really? It. Yeah. Why is that? My favorite tree. What's the one with the? Uh, they're all Symbolism. over. Symbolism. They're all over Louisiana. They have those like really cool like Spruce. arms that float down. It has a what? They're all over Louisiana. They're really thick, and then they have the are they willows, redwoods, willows. 
Uh, like Weeping Willows. Willow, maybe? Well, Weeping yeah. Willows, yeah. yeah. Those are dope. Yeah. I was a big fan of those. As a I, child. I like wood for its utility, though. So, yeah. I like ash, it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm a, I'm a big Georgia O'Keefe fan. They used to make baseball bats out of ash. Goddamn right. Now it's did. a variety of different woods. It is. Um, it is. Fun fact uh, the biggest bat makers in Louisville, Kentucky. There's a big one in uh, uh, Canada now, too. <laughs> It's one of those shows where we just get rocked. Um, I want Vizzy to be a sponsor, by the way. Yeah, they should be. Uh, I love... I, we, we've been drinking these. They've got vitamin C in them, so it makes it... Like, it makes us feel better about drinking them mm-hmm. uh, all day long, where it's Keeps like, oh, vitamin C, away. bro. Yeah. Yeah. And this, uh, I, I like it, actually. It's better than the other beverages. I'm a big fan. We had this at the Texas game. The I mean, only issue I'm having right little. now is it's not as available in as many stores. When I say stores, I mean gas stations. Cause that's, you got to get it out there. Yeah. So Hit us up, Busy. We're down, dude. Yeah. They need to send us like just a couple of pallets of these so I can make sure the uh, quality is good. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, we got to do a little QC yeah. on the old Busy. Uh, By the way, this, uh, the fucking cast for this new Matrix movie is pretty interesting. So obviously Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss are in it, but Jonathan Groff, the guy from... Uh, What's that show? Uh, it's the serial killer show. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Mind Mine Hunter. Yeah, and Ken That's and Karen. That's a great show. In. Yeah, uh, Mind Hunter is a great show, by the way. Priyanka Chopra's in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking NPH is in this shit. Jada Pinkett, obviously. Um, da, 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 the Mirror of Engine. You know guy. who's not in it is uh, Lawrence Fishburne. No, he. Uh, weird. It's weird that he's not in it. He's not, and it's. Uh, he made some trans comments. It's I, a I heard line. behind the scenes, and they were like. Get the fuck out. Yeah, we're like. <laughs> He's all gone. And they asked him, because he's on Blackish the other day, like behind the scenes. They were like, oh, you're back to say you beat COVID. Blah, 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 blah. How's it like? And he's like, that's great. Nice to be back with the family. And they were like, so are you going to be in the new Matrix? And he was like, I did not get a call for that one. So not sure what happened there. But, uh, you know, um, Ken McCloskey is also in the new Matrix. A lot of people don't know that. When's what, this come out? Is he just going to be standing there with the rifle or every yeah and all the dimensions ken mccloskey is in your dreams and your nightmares uh they would not have karen in it though i'm not sure why we should try to how, what do you got to do to get into the macy's day parade Ooh. uh money so if you, you you can donate enough money to get in there let's do that and have a ken and karen float uh, that'd be great it'd be fucking fantastic dude or an alex jones float but then we better. have Alex inside the car, and he, just, <laughs> he keeps jumping out and yelling at people. Yelling hey, at everybody. hey, hey, hey. This, this is all this shy comps. Dude. All these are China's, these are China's uh, uh, floats and parades out here. Uh, we love Alex, by the way. Yep. I don't know if you listen to that show, but that guy's out of control. I love Alex. One of the best. One of the best. He's really business. funny. I like watching his uh, clips where he's out in public. Oh, just giving yeah. people <laughs> shit. Those yeah. are the best. It's great. <laughs> uh, how old were you when you lost your virginity? 14. Whoa. 15, 14, young, 15. dude. Yeah. Was it Michael well, Jackson? No. I'm kidding. No. I didn't make it out to the ranch. <laughs> Is it weird that I'm, I'm, like I, I'm jealous that I didn't get to go to the ranch, you know? And get molested? Well, no. I just meant that <laughs> just obviously to see he didn't the, feel that I was that attractive, to, to, you know? <laughs> well, you want to see the monkey Well, well. yeah. With, uh, Ferris wheel, yeah. endless supplies of candy and then and, jesus juice uh, I and then yeah. jesus, jesus juice is what they were, what they were calling jesus it. juice i believe is wine with sleeping pills inside yeah. it. <laughs> 14's young where were you in oklahoma in oklahoma figures yeah i'm surprised your, you weren't having oklahoma children then. boy is today yeah. your first time out of oklahoma no it's not is it really no it's it, not. it doesn't seem like it no it doesn't seem like i'm kidding I'm very, <laughs> <laughs> uh i started traveling outside of oklahoma right at like 17 18 until then just texas Oh, no shit. Where'd you go to college? <laughs> Oklahoma State. Oh, so you did go there. You're yeah. not just a fan. No. All right, Oklahoma cool. State. Then you're it's allowed. a hard fanship to have. I would Choke imagine so, But at least yeah. you yeah. went to school there. Like, I get it. Did, did Tanner, your buddy, did he go there? No. Tanner went to OU. OU. Oh, he went to college. Did you still. physically go to OU, though? He's still going. Oh, you're still, you're, you're still in? Physically, yeah, I'm a, stu- I'm a senior at OU. You're 37. <laughs> Are you Van Wilder? <laughs> no, yes. I look thirty-seven. I'm kidding. Oh, you. you do you like? You look older. But do you remember that Jeremy Piven movie PCU with David Spade? And yeah, 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 that was a good movie. If you go back and watch PCU, look at how bald Piven is. That was before he got his plugs. Yeah, um, and you can you can really see where you're like, whoa, what the fuck? That is not the same hair from Entourage. He's bro. like he's like thirty-three playing a twenty-seven-year-old, and he looks like a forty-five-year-old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very weird math. I don't know. John Favreau in that movie too. Is oh like yeah, could you blow pounds. me where the penis is? Remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. 
They don't make those anymore. You're not allowed to. No, you can't do anything. And that movie actually was a send-up of what was to come. Yeah. Like, they had no idea how bad it was going to get at that point. Oh, no, not like at all. Like, the cause heads. Like, no, they, they are real now. Yeah, oh, yeah. They all all that shit is real. David yeah. Spade was in that movie? Well, he was in Hitler Youth kind of fucking... Yeah. I don't know. That was a funny yeah. movie, man. I haven't seen that in fucking years, dude. It's really good. Yeah. It's, it's better than Van Wilder, that's for sure. Gun Van Wilder's good. Uh, yeah. It, well, I yeah. noticed it's like yeah. on top ten of Netflix the other week because everyone's bored as shit. Well, and and people love Ryan Reynolds, man. Isn't that oh, what made killer, uh, uh, what's his name Penn? Cal Penn. Cal Penn famous. Yeah. Yeah. He was in that. He did the sequel. That was a so mistake. the sequel was yeah. about him. Yeah, There's yeah. another sequel to all that. Put shit respect too. on the rise of Taj. The rise of Taj. I'm yeah. not gonna yeah. do yeah. that. Yeah. I'm not gonna put no. any respect on that. It's movie Cal Schlong. Uh, you know where I'll give him respect is on uh, the Harold and Kumar movies. I fucking love those goddamn things. Yeah, those are good. Big big fan of those. But Gun he, to Head, all-time favorite movie. What is it for you? I'm going to say Goodfellas. Mr. Rouse the Bat. That's one I can okay. watch anytime. Anytime it comes on, I'll just watch it. Dan? There's not enough nudity in Goodfellas. No. But, I mean, as far as the best movie, who the fuck knows? Dude? I wanted to that's see an, Sh- Sean Penn's dick. That's an impossible question to answer, I think. They said Gun to Head. Yeah, Gun to Head. Throw it out. I'm not afraid of death. You know that. <laughs> I'll fucking die. I'll die quiet. I don't give a shit. What's one movie you can never turn off? Mine is Tombstone. Uh, that's probably one of them. Yeah, I would say there's probably ten, and it depends on the genre. Like Dumb and Dumber is definitely one of them because it's such a fucking classic. I right. love that movie. That's a good one. Um, Caddyshack is one for me. Mm, I'm not. I don't really get into those old movies. I do. Uh, I do. Uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is a really good movie. Oof, that's a great movie. And I think it's one of the best, like psychological dramatic movies made in the last fifty years. To be honest, but it doesn't get any respect despite having a great cast. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ruffalo's in that. Jim Carrey, that other fucking chick uh it's weird now ruffalo's fucking nude telling you to vote yeah yeah Yeah, actually i i was talking shit to him on twitter the other day oh were you really yeah he was like fucking this and this and whatever extremist shit i believe in and i'm like hey why don't you go fucking do a black and white naked video again bitch or why don't you (laughs) why don't you go voice over the hulk while everybody else acts in that movie yeah you fucking turd fucking ruffalo dude jesus christ uh, it makes me think. So, uh, think that, of, so there, there's one. Whenever I see him now, I can't get over it. Yeah, that that's one. Uh, Leah, Lena Dunham's another one where I'm just like, I fucking turds. I, I can't get over. Ruffalo was gone Ruffalo's so sure. hard that it's just like, man, I can't do it. Who's man. the other fat dude that uh, Gad, the funny Josh guy? Gad. Josh Gad. He was yeah. like laying down with his yeah. ass up in the air. Except for uh, when you say funny guy, I mean that's how he's known, but that's not the reality. Of the I situation. mean, he's not. He, he's in <laughs> semi-funny movies. Yeah, he's he's, he's yeah. like he's like the rock of comedy. He personally yeah. is not funny. He no. just kind of stands there looking the way he does and getting and made fun of. Sarah yeah, Silverman right. was another one. She had like her dad. Okay, on now there. let's talk about the Sarah Silver one. God, uh, now that's. I can get down with. Did you see how huge her tits were in that video? Yes. It was crazy, dude. I also think she's like certified crazy, though. Yes. Like yeah, yeah. off the fucking But she's a comic. Richter. Yeah. She used to date Jimmy Kimmel for years. Um, something happened. I think, I think she didn't want to have children, and they, he got out of there. But yeah. uh, either or way, she's just bad I shit. was surprised to see how huge her tits were in that video. Was her dad really like next up? Uh, like I heard a lot of stuff about her dad. Yes, yeah. that was true, but they weren't in the same scene, so... It wouldn't It'd be me. weird if they were both naked in the same scene. Mm. You know? Yeah. Well, you, wait, yeah, you, I, you no, I just I, I, I could see When's her. The last time I could you saw see your her dad nude. I don't think I've ever seen my dad nude. I'd ever probably, in your life? Probably when I was a kid. Yeah. The appropriate. But what I was. You should have said not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> and then sent that clip to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then make him drink and bro the week. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, I don't think, I, it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for her to do that with her dad. This is how batshit crazy I think she is. Is She would be full nude with her dad, like, hey, dad, let's record this. You know, it's, that's a tough one for me. Because she used to be super funny and edgy. And then I, what happens is it, when you stay single that late in life as a female, you become an activist. And that's it. So it's like you and, and Chelsea Handler and uh amy schumer and then you pop out a baby and you're like ah, oh, maybe i was a fucking idiot are you looking at her tits right now dan no i'm reading uh about how she to get out of jury duty once wrote i i love chinks uh, oh my on, god on the form <laughs> she is witty i'll give her that yeah like she's like she's she fun. her her idea was uh she got it from a friend apparently if uh if she were to write something inappropriate on the form that they would disqualify her immediately Don Cheadle did something similar to get out of it, too, uh, when he was at jury duty. It was mm. like something with a cop involved, and he was just like, it was like, no, I, I'm, I can tell you right now, I'd go against the cop. 
And they were like, whoa, time to get you out of there. You know? So. What are you going to do? Who knows, man? You get fucking weird with this. Who do you want to give the drinking bro of the week to? If you made us this beautiful flag. You came on our show. And, uh, and you're in here. You're here. You threw out your back. Lifting. Uh, potting soil bag. So It was a not, potting soil yeah, bag. Yeah, it was potting soil. Okay. Yep. Could have lied about that. No, yeah, yeah, I, I would have. I would have said wrestling a gorilla. Yes, dude. Or uh, I had a foursome and things got weird. Yeah. Like it was too much oil <sighs> on the mattress. Potting soil. Or I finally saw my dad nude or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which yeah. clearly throw something. out your back trying to get out of the fucking room. Yeah, well, Look, hold the door open so you can get another peek. Is exactly. probably <laughs> one more peek your dad. Yeah. Yeah. So it, you said drinking bro of the week. Yeah, whoever you want. Anybody? Yeah. Who is who has inspired you to become the man you are today? Oh, or any man. doctor. Anybody who's injected you or I'm totally kidding. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll throw out uh, Bedros Koulian. Okay. Yeah. I loved his early work. Um, what's, what's he do? So he owns a bunch of gyms in California, mm. um, fit body boot camps and stuff like that. But okay. he's just a good friends with Ray Care. Badass dude. So he, uh, he helped me kind of get more business oriented early on. So okay. I'm going to throw him out. Right on, dude. Uh, Ray Care. I've seen Ray's asshole. Yeah, probably. I, I made I you mean, look. No, he sent me a picture of it, and I made you look at it. Mm, well, I mean, he's he frequently will send everybody in his contact list uh, videos of him running nude through a gym where there are other dudes. Yeah, yeah and yeah. he's just sprinting around yep. naked. And I guess it's just I don't. It's either here's my theory. I think he's in a mental institution, and the only times we see him is when he's on some kind of work release program. <laughs> Because otherwise, his behavior doesn't make any fucking sense. You know what I mean? Oh, I love Ray, and he always makes me laugh. I told you, I asked him, I was like, hey, man, I, like, the picture of the asshole is hilarious, right? Because mm-hmm. he spread his cheeks as wide as they, they would mm-hmm. go. I'll show you the picture when we get off air. Um, YouTube would flag us, or else I'd just pop it up on the screen. Because <laughs> you know goddamn well, Ray doesn't care. Um, and I said, who took the picture? And he said his wife. So she's in on it, too. Would your yeah. wife take a picture of your asshole? She probably would. Yeah, I, I don't know I, I I would, would that's a hard down. ask for me. I don't. It I, depends on the situation. I was like, "Hey, uh, I got to I got to get you to take a picture of my asshole. Got to send it to the doctor, make sure everything's good." She'd be like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" But if I was just like, "Take a picture of my asshole," right. she probably would uh, throw some flags up. So, well, you can, you don't want to come in hot with a statement like that, in no context. No, you know what I mean, no, yeah, no, not at all. Like if you come into a room hot, like, "Hey, put your fist in my ass," and it's like, "Whoa, what <laughs> whoa. the fuck." Whoa, whoa, but whoa, 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 whoa. if you say, uh, hey, honey, there's some stuff caught in my ass. I need you to put your fist in there. Get it? Yeah. Then everybody's yeah. on the same page. Okay. Everybody's, everybody's doing Communication it. Communication is the key, folks. It's really what it's all about. To relationships, love, and uh, life. It really is, you know? What's your wife's name? Taylor. Taylor. So, Taylor, if you're hearing this out there. We apologize. We apologize for everything that uh, we've asked your husband today. Um, I don't, again, I would have him get rid of all those Nazi flags he's making. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But... Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, and just to be clear, I'm not sorry. I'm just apologizing. That's it. That's all we're doing. That's yeah, I don't know what that means to you, but it doesn't mean anything to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys want us to offload all the Nazi flags in here? No, no we're we're out of dealers here. No, um, yeah, yeah, we don't have too any, many no, in the back room. Find, we don't have any good Nazi war dealers here anymore. Um, <laughs> not in Texas. No, no, everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. Seems like that. I think they all went to Argentina. Anymore. Yeah, I think they all went to no, Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> and that where Hitler went. That's like, a real thing. That shit's crazy. You believe in it? Yeah, that they all went there. Yeah, for sure. Like if you go to Argentina over there, it's like blonde hair, blue eyed. No shit. Yeah, and yeah, then you just of, got like Argentinians down there. Yeah, yeah. Right. and then you just got Argentinians like, what the fuck? Like how these? And it was Hitler who did that, huh? Uh, Tim Kennedy did a big thing about. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he did. Look, he did. What was it? Hunting Hitler? Yeah, yeah, Hitler. yeah. He did hunting Hitler, but the Oktoberfest down there are lit. I bet. Because you said, get like the warmth of, you know. Look, I, I, don't, Argentina, Argentina, I don't doubt yeah. that what you're saying is true. What I wouldn't do is juxtapose the quality of a place with Hitler on one side and then the fucking party on the other side, right? Right. Those two things are of no consequence to one Well, he's Georgia. no longer alive, Dan. He left a legacy. Yeah, but there's probably a Dave Hitler down there running around. Yeah. Like an, at least a nephew, right? Or, or maybe he changed his name to Hister. You know, just Maybe. Uh, yeah. you know, swapped a letter out there somewhere, somewhere along the line. What if it's Bitler? <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird show today, kids. We don't know what happens in here, but magic happens sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. 
Who knows? Uh, either way, we've been drinking Vizzies all day. We appreciate mm. the, the flag and the gifts. Absolutely. Go to uh, starsandstripesco.com and uh, check out all of his work. We're gonna, what are we going to do? Back, backlight this with some LEDs, Giorgio? Yeah, maybe something similar to the orange. Maybe something else. We'll play around with it. See what looks good. Yeah. So, let's, let's play with each let's other. Let's just burn this fucking building down. Goddamn right. God, now Dan's reading my mind. Yeah, it's all over, brother. We don't have to fucking hang shit. We bring you, we bring you down here, make you make this beautiful flag out of wood. Burn it, burn it down. Lock the doors, put everybody inside, and burn it down live on air. Uh, a lot of views. Yeah, a lot yeah, of views. Lot of well, views. And, and that's all we do it for. That's all we do the show yeah. for, you know? There will be a lot of views until the... You'll get a Vizzy sponsor then. <laughs> I would sure. say so, yeah. yeah. I mean, you would... They'll would. come put out the fucking building in flames with Vizzy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if, you're, if you want to get drunk and also your friends kill themselves in a, <laughs> in a house fire, get some Vizzy. Uh, Number one beverage for murder-suicide. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get drunk and also put some vitamin C pumping through your veins, go to Vizzy. Well, um, I guess I can go ahead and fucking... Cut off communication with them now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the best way to. If you're gonna drink, you might as well, you know, yeah. be able to put out house fires and have, uh, get some vitamin have, C. Do you have three months to live, busy. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great slogan. <laughs> Vitamin C, though. Yeah, vitamin, vitamin C. C you, you look great inside that fucking casket. Busy. You look great, but you're dead inside. Uh, it works great. with a, It's a great mixer with embalming fluid. <laughs> um, yeah, that sponsor's gone now. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like how you just sling-bladed that outro. Uh, I like mustard <laughs> and french fried potatoes. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> For Danthony Danthony Holloway. Noah, Noah Tren, I am Ross Patterson. <laughs> this is the Drinking Bros. Bang, bang. Good night, everyone.